Well, Jake, the study took a nationwide look at the risk of exposure to coronavirus at work specifically. And what they found was that 10 percent or 14.4 million American workers could face exposure weekly and almost 27 million American workers could face that exposure every month. I had to look at some existing data sources to try to find out how many workers, you know, are already exposed to infection and disease on the job, because that would be a good indicator of who might be most at risk for exposure um, during this COVID-19 pandemic. Marissa Baker is an associate professor at the School of Public Health at UW. Now, she's using years of previous research as a foundation for this study. In 2018, Professor Baker published research in the American Journal of Industrial Medicine, which looked at workers in our region, Alaska, Oregon, Idaho, and Washington, and examined exposure to infections like MRSA and the flu. But with COVID-19 comes new concerns. And so Professor Baker took that data and took her findings and combined them with federal employment data to get an idea of what American workers are facing now. And the study found it is possible that due to social interaction, 10 percent of American workers will be exposed to infection weekly, and more than 18 percent of workers run the risk of exposure monthly. Now, the majority of workers at risk include healthcare professionals, police officers, first responders, which highlights the importance for proper medical supplies or PPEs like masks and gloves. But what the study also found um, was a disparity in income and how that related to worker infection rates. Because with about 25 percent of the American workforce only able to work from home, there's a large number of people who have to go into work. And because they can't afford unpaid leave or they don't have enough sick time, many of those workers are going to work while sick. So the study recommends employers be more accommodating to those employees, offering more paid sick leave and paid sick time in an effort to get people to stay home when they're sick. Now, Professor Baker admits that these findings actually might be an underestimate of how many people will be exposed. So her and her department continue to work on studies to find out which workers are most vulnerable. In Seattle, I'm Amity Adrisi, King 5 News.